Get ready to witness a once-in-a-lifetime celestial event as we take you on a journey to discover the rare green comet, C-2022 E3. From its discovery to its historical significance, we'll show you everything you need to know to catch a glimpse of this amazing phenomenon. So, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates and content like this. Comets are celestial bodies that have fascinated humans for centuries. They are made up of a mixture of ice, dust, and gas, and as they approach the sun, they begin to heat up and release these materials, creating the characteristic tail we associate with comets. But while comets are relatively common in the grand scheme of things, there are some that stand out from the rest. One such comet is C-2022 E3. Using the Palomar Observatory's Zwicky Transient Facility, ZTF on March 2, 2022, astronomers Frank Massey and Bryce Bolin discovered an object they at first thought was an asteroid. However, further investigation proved that it was in fact a comet, and it was subsequently designated as C-2022 E3. The last time this comet made its way through the inner solar system was during the Upper Paleolithic Era also known as the Old Stone Age. Every night, the Zwicky Transient Facility scans the entire sky for astronomical phenomena like comets, supernovae, and asteroids using its cutting-edge telescope. As a result, astronomers can find new objects that would have been missed using older techniques. The ZTF is housed at the Palomar Observatory which is one of the most prestigious astronomical research institutions in the world and has played a crucial role in many seminal discoveries in the field. On February 1, 2019, C-2022 E3 will get to within 28 million miles of Earth. This makes it a relatively close approach for a comet, and it's expected to be visible to the naked eye for those in dark, non-light polluted areas. But even for those in more urban areas, it should still be visible with binoculars or a telescope. To observe the comet, you'll need a pair of binoculars or a telescope. If you have a telescope, make sure it's at least 4 inches in aperture to get a good view of the comet's tail. A tripod will also be helpful to steady your equipment and reduce shake. For binoculars, make sure they are at least 7 by 50 or 8 by 40. These will provide the best view of the comet. The best time to observe the comet will be during the early hours of the morning, around 2-3 a.m., when the sky is the darkest. You'll want to find a location that is as far away from light pollution as possible. As the comet approaches the sun, it will begin to heat up and release the frozen gases and dust that make up its composition. This creates the coma, or the bright cloud around the nucleus of the comet, and the tail, which is formed by the solar wind pushing the material away from the sun. The tail of C-2022 E3 is expected to be green in color, which is a rare occurrence among comets. This is because the tail will be primarily composed of diatomic carbon, which emits light in the green part of the spectrum when excited by the sun's radiation. Comets like C-2022 E3 are considered to be long-period comets, meaning that their orbital period is greater than 200 years. This is in contrast to short-period comets, which have orbital periods of less than 200 years. Long-period comets are thought to originate in the Oort cloud, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune where billions of comets are thought to reside. These comets are only occasionally perturbed by the gravity of passing stars and sent on a journey towards the inner solar system. Since Comet C-2022 E3 has a highly eccentric orbit and will never again pass through the inner solar system, any chance to observe it is truly once in a lifetime. This is the final appearance of C-2022 E3, so don't miss it. We hope you enjoyed this journey to discover the rare green comet, C-2022 E3. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates and content like this. And we'll see you again for the next celestial event.